12 News exclusive. A high school football player inviting just one station into his home for the first time since it went up in flames. And what our cameras captured still completely intact under all of that rubble will give you the chills. Team 12's Tressa Tudrick joins us now with the emotional story that has one twist after another. When you see what was left of the home, it's hard to believe anyone or anything survived. I could literally feel the suds from the water underneath my feet, the broken roof tiles. Absolutely nothing prepares you for this. I didn't care if I died. I was more worried about them. This ball of fire ignited right in front of me. And it started to suck in and vacuum. And there goes our roof. I look in my mom's room. She's still asleep. And I yell at her, Mom, there's a fire. Wake up. Call 911. Get out of the house. <laughs> it's my house. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> all 15 years of my life, I've lived there at that house. It's all gone. 15 years of memories stolen in a house fire. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's materialistic. And yeah, I can sleep on any bed, but you know, th those were. Our beds, those were our walls, those were our rooms, those were our memories. Just burnt to a crisp, there's nothing left of it, so. When all hope seems lost, the Adjurians find bits and pieces of it in the rubble. Wow. Did it burn? No, it's still, still good, sucks. yeah. No, I think we can wash this one. Before the fire, a broken AC unit was their biggest problem, but it turned out to be their saving grace. My sister and I were sleeping downstairs and it was by God's hand or whoever was watching us that we were both downstairs because the fire chief said that if we were upstairs and we were sleeping in our rooms, the smoke inhalation would have probably knocked us out and we, would have, we wouldn't have made it out alive. So it was uh, definitely a blessing. To them, they are the lucky ones, putting their loss in perspective after what others in Texas and in Florida are going through after devastating and deadly hurricanes. Sorry for the lives that have been lost there, so we're fortunate. And they're especially thankful for the friends. Nope. This is somebody else's, that's somebody else's. And teammates who've helped them out. And also make sure, you know, we dress up on game days, make sure he's got some clothes to wear, make sure he's got all of his football football equipment that was lost in the fire, make sure he's got that to wear. Being 15 and a sophomore here at Perry and them actually caring about me is just feeling like I'm at home. Their strength as a family is stronger than these walls. Love each other regardless, thick or thin. Building it back together again. I just think of me in a year. I know I'm going to have my house back. I'm going to have my friends back. I'm going to have clothes and all this stuff. It makes my house feel like home. Finding light in the situation, strength in the chaos, the rubble, their home. My mom, she's up there watching over us. That's what she saved us. It's all rebuild, so it's just a matter of time. If you would like to help the Adjuran family, there is a GoFundMe link on 12news.com. Tressa Tedrick, 12 News at 10.